to a recent study released by the American Association of University Women, if you are a Michigan working woman, you will average 73 cents for every dollar made by a man. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the immediate past president and event chair for pay equity for the National Council of Jewish Women, Greater Detroit section, Irma Glazer. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Laurel. Your organization has always been on the forefront of social change, especially when it comes to women's rights. And uh, certainly uh, when it comes to pay equity, uh, you're still right there out in the forefront. Uh, Fifty years now have gone by since John F. Kennedy signed civil rights legislation that should have made men and women equal when it comes to pay, but we're not there yet. Correct. And 50 years has seen a change, and it has been for the better, but it's slowed down for the last 10 or 15 or 20 years. And women are still behind, even though they're becoming more and more in the forefront of being the breadwinners for the family, or certainly offering a great amount of support to a family. Childcare is an issue because if you're not making enough money, you can't afford the childcare. It's not worth it for you to be working. But at the top end, we have college graduates, young college women who are graduating, even in the higher echelon of jobs, engineering, math, and computer science, they're still making less than a man, 7% less when they first start out, and that only gradually gets larger and larger as they stay in the workforce. In an effort to uh, combat the difference in pay, you have uh, helped several pieces of legislation make it to the House and the Senate. You'd like to see them passed. Correct. Um, right now, sort of sitting there with, with no action, what exactly is the legislation and, and, and why have some folks in Lansing apparently been reluctant to move on it? Well, I think that there's still some of a, the prejudice about how women should be in the home and, and uh, that the man should be the principal and main wage earner. That's probably part of it. But the, the fact is, as I mentioned before, women are more and more the key breadwinners. And the four pieces of legislation that are in both the House and in the Senate have to do with it, amending the Elliott Larson uh, Civil Rights Act so that uh, employers do not discriminate in pay based on gender, uh, increases fines for doing such a thing, makes transparency better in terms of a, a woman finding out what a man makes in the same position, because that's difficult, mm -hmm. and then setting up a commission, that'd be the fourth thing, a commission that would do the um, the help and the technical assistance to get those bills passed. Now, luckily, we do have some people who are listening better in the legislature on both sides of the aisle. This is a, a positive thing. We have to get the message out more because these legislators have daughters and granddaughters who are going to be exposed to the same problem. So they are sympathetic, and that's a good sign but we need to do something. 50 years is too long. It's time. While we're waiting on folks in Lansing to move on legislation, you also uh, need to rely on women to speak up and to demand when they can that they be paid equally. That's a great point that you just made because we went up on April 9th, which was Pay Equity Day, and there were a, a number of women who came from different organizations, but we also brought postcards. We told them that even though not when everybody was there, those postcards represent what women have to say. And letters are coming back to our legislators, letting them know that women are becoming more aware. So women need to speak up, take control of their own destiny where they can, while the folks in Lansing do their thing as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. For more information on today's topic, you can head, head to ncjwgds.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Irma Glazer of the National Council of Jewish Women, Greater Detroit Section.